So today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I took my VU meters that were once lit with those white bulbs and transformed them into some blue and red LED lit VU meters. True Sound Studios is in your ears. Hey guys, what is up? I'm Wiesna, and as always, we're here at my studio, True Sound Studios, and today we get into a DIY build that's actually kind of easy. So I'm gonna show you guys how I took my VU meters and just really simply put some LED strips inside of the meter bridge, got rid of the white bulbs, and just use a separate power supply to light up these LED strips. So I had to make a video about this because I cannot tell you how many people ask me how I got my VU meters to be the blue and red color. So today I finally get to show you guys, so let's get into this video. Okay, so here we go. So on either side of your mixing console on the meter bridge, um, I just have this black fabric here just to make it look a little nicer. Um, there's these plates. Okay, so these metal plates is what holds the plexiglass inside of your meter bridge. So um, there's four screws, one, two, three, and four. I already took um, the other ones out just to make it a little easier, but it will require an Allen wrench key. Um, so an Allen wrench to take this off. And if you take out all four screws, this plate will come right out of here. And they're just these little Allen head uh, screws. And now what we can do is just take the plexiglass, it should be free, and you can literally just slide this whole thing right out of here. Just like that. So all I did to get these to be blue and red is I just put these LED strips down here. So what these are, are 12 volt LED strips. Um, they are extremely thin. They're like maybe the size, maybe like two, three, four sheets of paper stacked together. And then you can actually cut them every three LEDs. You can see there's a little joint right here and there's a joint over here. And that's actually where you can cut them. So you can cut them to pretty much any length, you know, minus the about inch and a half you have to work with. And um, I just simply soldered the two, the red and blue together. And on the back side of these LED strips is, they all come with some sort of double stick adhesive. So they're just stuck on there. As you can see, it's it didn't stick as well <laughs> as I would have liked. But, and then also I took out the bulbs on the original VU meters. Now, I think only like two or three of the bulbs actually worked in these meters. So I did take those out and unfortunately I did that like four years ago, five years ago. So I can't even tell you how I took those off. I believe just this clear case over the meter comes off and um, you can take the bulb out, which it should be, I'm, I'm, if I remember correctly, it's right behind this silver part in the front of this VU meter. So it is really important though to make sure that you put the LED strips underneath or on top of the VU meters because you have to have this light shine through so it needs to be able to get inside of there. So with the LEDs off, it might be a little easier to see now, but those are the teeny tiny little LED strips. Now you can get these strips, you can actually get 16 feet of these for about, um, about $8. So um, you can get the solid color ones like I have. I have the blue ones here and then the red ones on the left and right and uh, monometer. Um, but you can also get 16 color, which means it comes with a remote and you can actually change the color of them. So that might be kind of cool if, you know, that's something that you would like to do, but you won't be able to split up like those won't be blue and the other ones won't be red. But that's what it looks like with the LEDs actually off. So now because I chose to have two different colors, the blue um, stops here and then the red starts here. So what I did is I had to put this piece of cardboard in to, uh, to stop, you know, to block the light because the red was mixing with the blue and it was making this meter and this meter kind of look purple. So that is something you're gonna wanna do if um, you do decide to do two different colors like I did, um, is put some sort of light block in there so the two colors don't bleed together and form some other new color. So that is really all I did to, uh, to get the blue and red underneath these VU meters. Now, I'm probably wondering how I ran the power. So if you want, I'm sure you could find a way to tap off the power um, 
for these VU meters, but what I chose to do just to make it easier and also to free up a little power on my power supply for the mixing console is right here, this is the ribbon cable. This is the ribbon cable that connects actually to the mixing console because you can buy this VU meter and the console separately. Um, I just ran um, just two wires, the positive and negative, right through the slot where the ribbon cable would go to and I ran that to a separate 12 volt power supply that actually came with one of the sets of these LED lights. Um, so I will include all of this stuff in the description of this video. I'll also include links to just the solid colors and the 16 color ones in case that is something you wanted to do. And then also if you, if you find that you can't find um, the LED strips um, on their own with or without the power supply. I'll include a link to the power supply also so you guys make sure you get the right one. So there you go. I know it's a little tough to see, but that's the ribbon cable I was talking about. And in the wire that runs right up, right up there, that is the uh, wire that I ran to those LEDs. Okay, so just really quick, I just wanna show you like a close up of the actual parts. Um, so this is the LED strip. Um, normally at this end here, there'd be 16 more feet connected to it. But like I was saying, uh, you can actually cut them every three LEDs. And as you can see here, at one end of your LED strip, there's actually gonna be these wires and this is the like no solder option. And what you get is this little adapter where you uh, screw in your wires at the one end and then plug in your power adapter at the other. So you just very simply, you would just put those in there like that with a screwdriver, tighten those down and then plug your power adapter, your 12 volt power adapter um, into the end of here. And that is it. And these lights will turn on. Um, you know, LEDs uh, last for like at least 10,000 hours. So, you know, it's, it's definitely gonna last quite a while. Um, just make sure that you're using the correct adapter. Um, most of these run on 12 volts DC and most of them take at least one amp to run the whole 16 feet. That's the very least. Now the LEDs that I just bought, which are actually this little cutoff right here, um, these are much bigger, much brighter LEDs probably too much for the meter bridge type thing, but these actually use five amps to run 16 feet of LEDs. Okay guys, so you know, that is it. That is that is really all I did to do this. Nice and simple, just took those LED strips, stuck them on the bottom here, um, soldered two of them together, wired it to a separate power supply and ran the wire where the ribbon cable is. Just really simple, just really made it an easy project. So one of the main reasons though I wanted to show you guys um, these VU meters and how I lit them up is because I'm going to change them. Um, so I'm getting rid of all the VU meters and these meters up here, so these are TOA, they make this rack unit and it's 16 LED meters. So I bought two more of them. So I'm gonna have a total of, well, I'll have 16 and 16 um, on this side. So I'll have 32 on the left side of the console and I'll have 16 to the right of the console. Um, you can't divide these up, so that's kind of the way it had to work out. But in my system, it's actually gonna work out really nicely because I actually run 32 outputs from the DAW, and then the rest will be for the inputs that I use when I'm recording. So it'll actually work out good for me. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how I built all of these TOA monitors into my meter bridge. I'm gonna take all these out, and then if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I have these two small screens right here over the last couple weeks. And one has a spectrograph on it and the other has an RTA. So these two digital meters, I'm also gonna build into the meter bridge. And I think, um, you know, that's gonna be really cool. And what's even better is these two digital displays um, uh, depending on if you buy them new or used. New, it'll cost you like $140 for both. If you get the stuff used, it's probably almost half the price. And you can almost use it on any system. It doesn't even have to be on a mixing console. So I think that'll be really cool to show you guys um, how all that works together and how it's gonna be all set up and most importantly connected to this mixing console. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and definitely, definitely keep an eye out for the next video where I totally uh, do an overhaul on this meter bridge. 
So thank you for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, click that like button and consider subscribing for more content. So not only do I make YouTube videos, but I also produce tracks and I can mix and master your music. So once again, thank you for watching this video. I'm Wiesna and True Sound Studios is in your ears.